four four delivery magnificent. Burke wants a goal. So does the Saints. Here's a chance now for the Saints. G'day Saints fans, it's uh, Stuart Lowe here and welcome to the next 15 minutes of Saints TV. Well as you know, it's, uh, we, uh, we lost once again on the weekend after two terrific wins. We, uh, we travelled up to Brisbane and it was always going to be a tough ask but I really thought the boys performed fantastically well for, for three and a bit quarters and uh, the scoreboard really probably, probably didn't... Uh, give true value as to how close the game was but um, look I thought there was a lot of positives uh, as did Grant after the game obviously we we're all very disappointed with the way we performed in the last 10 minutes but uh, I just think with the uh, personnel that we had on the park that day given that Brisbane were pretty much full strength I think there was uh, lots of po positives to come out of it so we'll uh, just throw it now to some highlights and uh, we'll get back to you soon. How caught Del Santo, good tackling. Davis comes up at the ball. Now Lenny Hayes, can he get on the end of this? Has a little bit of space. Johnson comes at him, knocks it inside 50, gets it back again. Over the top to Wolf. Can he kick this one? He's put it through. Davis, good tackle. Caught. Great tackle, Ackermanis, mm. on attacking 50 for the Saints. Ackermanis thought he was going to get the free kick. Umpire didn't respond. Cripps to Hayes. Another possession for him coming up. Sells the dummy. Chips the kick. Beautiful play. Chance for a snap by Milne. Saints back in front. Sides that are performing best. Uh, the sides that have got one, two and three injuries and then the sides that are really struggling have got eights, tens, twelves and all the rest of it. So, you know, it's damn hard when you, when you get injuries and damn hard when you get injuries to quality players. So we want to make sure that we go to Mass a fair bit between now and the, when we get back from the break and uh, we have a bit of luck in the last half of the year. We can have a bit of fun and uh, cause a bit of angst. And as you can see, uh, after Tomo's comments, um, you know, there are some positives to come out of the game. There's no doubt we'll be working on them in the, uh, the next week, but uh, this week's actually quite unusual for me. I've, I've been involved in uh, league football now for 17 years and I've never actually had a week off where we weren't required to be at the club, but uh, we have got one this week. But uh, I'll just run through exactly sort of the program. We've, uh, we've all been given individual programs. Some guys have, uh, have gone back home. Now we've got a host of uh, interstate um, guys here, so it's been a great opportunity for them to get back home. Big spiders. He's fl flying up to uh, Bali for a couple of days to put his feet up, uh, but uh, there's a few of us uh, who are staying at home and uh, we're, uh, we're going to get into the club uh, 10 o'clock um, each day and do some extra skills sessions with Dean Wallace, just keep our touch and, uh, and, and feel the footy, which is vitally important. But personally, from my own point of view, I'm really looking forward to just uh, mentally having a bit of a week off. Now, I... Uh, Managed to catch up with Andrew Thompson before he headed off to Noosa last night and had a bit of a chat to him regarding his play of the day. And I think Stephen Milne's been on it just about every week, so I, uh, I've decided to, uh, to can Tomo's choice this week and give it to a young defender, Troy Schwartz, who played a fantastic game. Kept Alistair Lynch to one kick and one goal for the entire match, and uh, I think in the highlights package you'll see some great chop outs and some fantastic marks from a, a guy who's probably only played a dozen games against one of the uh, the true champions in Alistair Lynch. So well done, Troy. Keep it up. Ball slapped outside, defensive 50 by the Saints, but Ashcroft to McRae. Now Lappin, centering ball, not a bad ball. Browns there, big punch by well Schwarz. Got the ball clear. Voss out of the centre, Black out of the centre. Are they switched on? Voss, high kick inside, 50 again. Chance for Lynch to leap high, couldn't bring the mark down, Black. Headland onto the left, foot high. Lynch with the leap, Schwarz equal to the task, and Cripps comes up with a crumb. Well, welcome back, and it was a fantastic effort, as I said earlier, Troy. Congratulations. But here we are in our illustrious locker rooms that have been revamped this year by Progressive Properties, which is uh, my building company. Um, I'll tell you a little bit about the room. This actually was, used to be our gymnasium. It was a tiny gym, as you can imagine. You probably can't see around me, um, but uh, we, uh, we revamped it put some walls in, a bit, uh, bit of paint on the walls, a few mirrors, the boys love them, and um, we've moved all the lockers in, and uh, yeah, it works really quite well. We're uh, sitting in front of uh, big Spider Everett's uh, locker here, and he's the only guy in our locker room who likes to keep his, uh, his photo 
because he can't actually read his name so he actually needs to see his face when he walks in and this is uh, this is the time where we decide to have blonde hair but um, as you probably know Peter's been allegedly booked for uh, for striking so we wish him well I think the, the try the um, hearings on Thursday so good luck Spider because he's uh, he's been fantastic for us in the last two weeks so we really hope he gets off that charge We'll just uh, move on now to the injury report for the week. Uh, there's really only one major injury uh, from the game, and that's uh, Lenny Hayes has broken his metatarsal in his right hand, and uh, he's, uh, he's actually been operated on uh, today in Sydney and will unfortunately miss between four and five weeks, which is uh, a real disappointment because Lenny was probably... Uh, far and away be leading our best and fairest and uh, has just had a sensational season thus far so we wish him all the well and and hopefully he'll be back very soon we're uh, we're actually going to be uh, fortunate enough to get uh, four or five players back after the break we'll be uh, expecting uh, Rob Harvey to recover from his calf injury so that'd be fantastic Fraser Garrick's due to come back uh, after missing another five weeks with uh, with OP uh, Jason Blake also, after missing I think six weeks with OP, is due to come back. And I think uh, Austin Jones with a hamstring uh, and Max Hutchinson with a hamstring uh, both may be available as well. So um, it's pretty exciting times with uh, those sort of calibre players coming back into the side. So it's going to be very, very exciting. It's me again, guys. I've uh, just had the doctor walk past and uh, he's pulled me up on uh, my analogy of Lenny Hayes' uh, injury. It's actually not a metatarsal, it's a metacarpal. A metatarsal is the foot bone and uh, Lenny has actually broken his hand, so he's getting his right metacarpal fixed um, and all the best, Lenny, for that. Number 35, the great man himself, uh, Rodney Robert Harvey. Funny story, that, and... Uh, I think we're about to throw to a segment that was taped earlier in the month on Living With, which is a great show that I know all the guys watch um, in here. But, uh, yeah, it was a, a little funny story that uh, Rob, for the first, I think, two years of his uh, playing career under Daryl Bordock, was actually called Rodney. And I think, uh, as you see on the highlights, uh, Anita Frawley um, delves a little bit deeper into the story. When you first met Danielle... What we all want to know is how in the hell did you actually get it? Um, what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> well, to elaborate a little bit further, back then, I mean, I knew you obviously very well, but you were very quiet. Yeah. And uh, I remember Danielle telling me that the first three months she actually was with you, you, you hardly spoke a word. And I think that's actually why I used to bring her over to our house every Sunday, so at least she'd get a bit of conversation. And I also heard that the first three weeks that you were going, I shouldn't say I heard because I knew, that um, she called you Rodney. Instead of oh, yeah. now, now we're getting a wise cross here because um, now I don't know how much you make of this you're making up, but uh, and I know Spud would have worded you up a little bit, but um, well, it was only a, it was only a week. Sorry, I, I... the Rodney bit actually came from my first AFL coach in Daryl Baldock, and for believe it or not, for the first six months that Daryl coached me. God love him, and you know Daryl yeah, well. No, but he called me Rodney, and I used well, to go up to him dark. after training and say, "Look, my name's Robert. Can you can you try and sort of say <laughs> the right name in front of the players?" And then, sure enough, the next team, and he called me Rodney again. So I'd go up again and ask him. But so you've it's something I got. Oh. I mean, Danny, I may have called me Rodney, but I, I didn't notice at the time. I but, think you were so besotted, you didn't even know. It. Yeah, and uh, yeah, we we met. Um, oh, seven years ago now. Yeah, I think it was at the um, St Kilda Disco back then. Actually, wasn't it? it was at the. King Club in Moorabbin and I was sweating away on a bike. Oh. And <laughs> yeah, that's right, and she was on the <laughs> she on she the couldn't, uh, couldn't keep her hands me. off me. And she, with, she runs, doesn't she? She does. She a runs lot. a lot. Yeah, yeah, very fit young yeah. lady. With your children, now my dad used to take me out into the backyard and play kick to kick or throw a ball or that. Do you actually get out there with Connor and do a bit of that? Now, I know there's an ulterior motive behind this because Danielle would have worded the girls up about this, but... Um, not really, no. No, I probably prefer, actually, before the show tonight, um, I had my young, our young girl, Remy, out the backyard in the swing, which she loves, and mm -hmm. she loves kicking the footy out the back. And Connor just, he's not into it. He's, he's the older one. He should, he should be the one that's into it. So you're blaming Connor? Um, <laughs> I'll probably blame interested. myself, because yeah. I don't actually get him out and have a kick with him, but um, I actually prefer sit, sitting yeah. and watching a movie and... Yeah. and do you have the babysitting duties now that Danielle's working on this show? I do actually. And oh, hang on. What about going? Mum? Danielle's mum. Yeah, We've got is. to give her a plug. Mother's Day. She does, yeah, she definitely does now, plenty. Just speaking very quickly of 
Danielle, we have got some footage here because she was just the proudest woman. We'll just throw to this Brownlow footage and the look on her face. Look at this. Oh, oh God. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's my man and I love you. Oh. To look at that. It actually looks like the first time I've seen oh, stuff for words. Look. <laughs> I think she was. She's a princess. Oh, She's perfect. just, look, you're going to cry. <laughs> you're all overwhelmed. How Very has sentimental. winning the Brownlow changed your life as well as your family? Like with Danielle and, and yeah, the Yeah, do people recognise well? you yeah. when you go out? And um, like, yeah, they go, there's Danielle Harvey. Yeah. Who's like with her? Yeah, they say that now, actually, yeah. Um, look, it, it hasn't changed my life at all. Um, uh, like, it's been four years now since, since the last one. And, um, like, I found even the year after it... Um, it was basically, apart from people saying that you'd won a brown low, like and especially um, if footy commentators and stuff like that, it's um, it's basically means nothing. And and you come you come around again next season. It didn't take long for for our team's fortunes to drop, and you just you're just so caught up in that side of it. You don't even really think it's much about it. It's an individual thing, isn't it? Yeah, it Doug's is. always said a grand final would override any individual accolade. Is that true, though? Because I often ask Matt, would he rather win the Brownlow or the Premiership? No, and he says final. the Premiership, and I don't know, but if I was playing, I'd probably say the Brownlow. <laughs> <laughs> Lisa? No. Maybe because you don't play much sport. Yeah, maybe. Sport. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> would you yeah. agree? Oh, look, yeah, I mean, obviously, I've, I've won a Brownlow, and, um, I know, and I know players, other players that have won them, and they've never even played in a Grand Final. And I've been lucky enough to play in a Grand Final, and there's just no comparison. Um, Would you have given one of them up for that? I give, yeah, I'll give them both, give both, both one back, back to Chris easily. Brown? <laughs> yeah, I probably <laughs> should, yeah. I had to. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I mean, it's been, obviously been four years, and those four years have been disastrous for our club, and, um, you know, as, as I'd said, I'd give them both back for sure to just have a flag. Well, just before we wrap up this cracking episode of Saints TV, I just uh, there was a fantastic game last Friday night here at Moorabbin. Back to Moorabbin, football at Moorabbin, fantastic. It was the amateurs versus the Southern League and it was a, a very fiercely contested game which the amateurs ran out eventual winners in front of uh, two or 3,000 uh, screaming fans. So it was great to see football back at Moorabbin. And uh, that's just about it for uh, this episode. As I said, we've got the Bulldogs in two weeks' time, which is going to be a, a do-or-die game for us. Uh, we really uh, haven't discounted uh, playing in September this year, and we really feel we can, uh, with the players coming back, we can uh, really come home with a storm and play some good football. So get behind us, Saints fan, and we need you all out there uh, that Friday night against the Bulldogs. And just finally, uh, next week, obviously, there's no football to, uh, to cover for Saints TV, so we're going to uh, put together a highlight package of all the great things that have happened thus far on Saints TV. So it's been great uh, being your host this afternoon and um, enjoy the rest of the season. Thank you. <laughs> Gee, I'll wrap it up well, don't I? Bouncing on full forward, delivery magnificent.